Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Brady Tom. And I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to showcase you guys basically the best settings for the Citra emulator. Now, <laughs> to basically get this emulator to running to its best possible settings, obviously you guys need a strong PC, but no matter what type of PC you have, I can basically I can basically showcase you guys how to basically push this emulator to its maximum capacity, basically using your graphics card. Now, sure, you can go to the um, emulation configure, go to graphics, mess around um, with the settings to see which one works best with your PC and which one works best with certain games for you. But you're not gonna get the full capacity that your PC can basically give the maximum performance that your PC can basically give when you're using this emulator. So one little secret thing I always, that my favorite thing that I always love to do. And to this day, I still use this for any emulation emulator is RPCS3, Yuzu, Ryu Jinx. What else that's pretty popular. I use pretty much often Semu, all these emulators. The thing that I always use is I go to the NVIDIA control panel. And when I go to the, on the NVIDIA control panel, I always go right here, select the GeForce. Oh, I forgot to always apply. I'm so quick with it. All right, so I always make sure it's and maybe up is on there. I always apply. Use performance, and you can either put this in the middle, make it balance. But if you, since we're using the the search emulator, we're trying to get the best performance as possible. So we're gonna just go apply with that. Let's wait that out, and then you're gonna manage 3D settings. Usually, the default that I set it to is usually good. So if you guys don't have what I have in the screen right now, make sure you guys. Um, copy it the same exact way. Now, depending on what type of um, graphics card you have, you're going to have a little bit um, more different settings, but these settings right here are usually good for no matter what type of graphics card you have. And then obviously you're going to go be to going to the highest performance. Just apply that. And after you do that, after it's finished applying, you go to program settings and then we're going to we'll go to make sure it is on this high performance NVIDIA processor. Then we're going to add, add the central emulator and then we're going to apply to it and wait a little bit after that. And then we basically close it out. And then now when you play your games, you should basically feel a whole new different experience, much more improvement on performance side when you're playing your games on the Citra emulator. So that's basically it. Pretty simple and easy. Just a little tip for you guys to get the best settings out of your games when you're playing on the Citra emulator. If you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all, feel free to like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, it's your boy Barry Tone. I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.